all ferrite cores. Finally got them in. I uh, told everybody I would be making a video. So I'm making a video real quick just to share with you the cores. And they are all here. And these will all be going out. <clears throat> Again, everybody who was over at the forums involved with uh, open-source-energy.org got the opportunity to pitch in and uh, make the minimum order quantity for these cores so that we could actually get them. So I will be shipping all of these out, keeping a set, and yeah, they fit in there real nice. Um, I did try putting them in some of the new bobbins. Some of these, like this one's a solid core. Um, these ones under here, some of them are solid, some of them aren't. And some of the new ones, we're going to have to take a file and just butter the edges. They're just a fraction tight here and there with a plastic extruded out. But for the most part, they fit real well. And uh, they match up exactly. You can see here's the ones that I had already made out of steel. And uh, they're, they're just right. They fit just, just perfect. So... Um, the only real major difference about these um, is that the corners are not rounded but uh, I didn't really see the need to round the corners they fit in there just fine this is a uh, a different version the fire pinto printed out and it's got the corners worked out you can see how they're extruded out uh, versus in and I've got a piece of plastic down in there to hold the cores together but that that corner for some for some of you guys that already has the uh, the bobbins out there, a lot of the ones that I had to mill the slot out will fit just fine. But some of the solid ones might not fit just all perfect. You might have to take a file and file them down. Maybe not. Um, it might just be those brand new ones that Fire Pinto sent to me. Um, but I will be sending some of those out. So there you go. All the cores are there and um, ready to ship them out. <clears throat> yeah. So test time, we'll see what happens. Um, I did do a couple of quick tests and it looks like this is 1200 permeability. It looks like we're still high. Um, I don't really know how high yet, probably, I don't know. I just did some quick tests and we were definitely over, which is okay, I'd rather be over than under. And um, yeah, so we'll just have to do some tests, but it looks like we could go even lower than 1200 permeability and still be fine. Uh, one thing I did learn while I was messing around with different ferrite cores was that the cores on these flyback transformers you know most of these have the gap and we've done studies on that and you can read the information over at the forums on what we found about gapping cores now some of these actually don't have gaps like this one this this one does not have a gap there's no gap in there so it really depends on the manufacturers design okay no gap I don't know, it looks like one, but there's not one in there. It's just because the ferrite's not sitting square. So some of these do, some of these don't. There's a reason for that. And um, it's, uh, well, I'm not going to try to explain it to you right now, but what I was trying to tell you was I've learned with playing around with some of these uh, ferrite cores, these higher permeability ferrite cores, those are real high perm. And what I found out is that the amount, um, I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, the amount of distance, alright, so like for instance, you can see the gap here, and you can see that there's no gap here. That little bit of, diff of, of spacing makes a ginormous change on a high permeability core. So when you have uh, this, this high of a permeability core, you can just touch these things, and they're barely, you know, barely moving and you can get the inductance to drop down quite a bit so basically what I'm trying to say is I was extremely surprised to find out how little bit of a gap would make a difference I mean you would barely barely touch these things so they would just barely be any different than what they were and you could drop from you know 2000 per or, or 2000 to Henry's down to about 1.5 down to about 1 just by barely touching this so that's that's surprising, um, and I've I've you know after doing some tests with the with these types of cores, um, it's I was very surprised to find out how far 
you have to move it to actually get it and it's hardly anything at all so interesting and um, yep these were definitely these had to be bought and tested to find out the permeability that we were needing and uh, so here they are and they're still still usable but um, still not exactly the correct permeability so I'm thinking the the lower the perm we go the less that the um, you know the gaps gonna make a difference because like I said on the high perm man that teeny tiny little bitty space goes from you know um, for instance on on these I remember reading up between six and seven millihenries or six and seven henries okay with a gap like that and then I'd push that together and it would jump way up like 20 30 40 henries I mean a huge 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 difference not a little a huge difference so anyway just some ideas and thoughts and that's it quick little video thought I'd post it um, I got some really important videos coming up so I need you guys to spread them as fast as possible um, you'll see why once you see it and I need you to download it re-upload it to your channel but that's coming up Woo -woo! see you guys I'll uh, do some testing and get back with you probably next week